This is 2019 paper one review, and uh, I have worked out this uh, paper, uh, paper one and paper two, uh, up to 2013 paper one and two. So you can check for those videos. Check the link below. You'll be able to get this, the, all these videos in that order, uh, all of them at the same place. Uh, now this question we are told without using mathematical tables or a calculator evaluate. Uh, so you have uh, 5.4, all this is divided by 0 0.025 multiplied by 3.6 and that is uh, you get 3 marks. Now here you have already been given instructions, you don't use a mathematical table or so a calculator. And if you use, then you uh, don't get any mark. For example, if you are to use mathematical table, then you need to draw this kind of a table, the one that you use to solve such kind of a problem. The examiner will know that you have used a uh, uh, mathematical table, which you are told not to, uh, not to use. Then uh, we have, if you use a calculator, uh, then uh, it will give you direct answer, that is 60. So you will not have shown the method. Here you are supposed to get a mark for uh, removing the decimals, uh, another mark for the method mark for simplifying, and the answer mark. So if you don't show all this, then you don't get marks. That is why it is important uh, to follow the instruction. And in these videos, I've shown, I've shown you where you get marks. So that's how you work out that. So let's go to question number two. Uh, so here we have another question, X plus 1725, or 1728, and 2025 in terms of the applying factors, hence evaluate. So you covered this in form two. Uh, uh, you can be able to watch this video and be able to work out that and get the, the square root, the cube root of uh, 1728 and also the square root of 2025. Uh, so number three, uh, you are told Juma left uh, his home at 8.30. He drove a distance of uh, 140 kilometers and arrived at his aunt's home at 10. 15 a.m. Determine the average speed in kilometers for the journey. So you have uh, three marks there. Uh, so that I have also worked out. The final answer you get is 80. Uh, so you can click the link below. You'll be able to see how you work out that. Uh, you cover this. This is in uh, linear uh, motion in form two. Uh, the next question is uh, number four. Uh, you expand. So you also learned how in algebra how to do this in form 2. Remember, question 1 is uh, you are tested the work you did in form 1 and form 2. Uh, then, uh, so you should be, this is a paper that you should, a section or paper that you should be able to get uh, good marks. Uh, the next question is uh, number, number 5. This is, uh, I have shown you, so to get the we are supposed to find the perpendicular distance, but we have been given uh, the, the the length here and the bottom. Uh, so, and you know the formula for fi and the area. You know the here you have the area. You know the formula for finding uh, the area of a trapezium is uh, length. Uh, that is, uh, you add the sum of the two long sides. You divide by two. You multiply by height. So I have equated that, and I got twenty eight. So that's how you do that. Uh, we have question number six. Uh, this is from indices, which you covered, also covered in form two. Uh, you should be able to work out that and get an eight over three. So I want to give you an opportunity to do that, and if you and then you can click on the uh, link below, and you'll be able to get the video of this. Uh, the other one is question number seven. Uh, you did scale drawing in form one bearings. Can you be able to represent uh, the, this information uh, of three villages uh, and the, 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 their bearings, uh, the distances, and be able to get that info? So I have explained how to do that very clearly. Uh, so we go to question number eight. 